What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Luigi back at it again with a brand new sneaker review. Today we actually have something actually really dope for some reason in the US on the Puma's website. They actually don't have these. They were actually supposed to release I want to say last month but then the release date got pushed back. I ended up actually picking these up from N Clothing, um, the UK based brand and I'm just really excited I got these. These are just an incredible super dope sneaker. I love the story behind it. Before we get into this fire sneaker review make sure you guys hit that subscribe button especially if it's your first time checking out one of my videos so hit that subscribe button i would really appreciate it it really does help the channel a lot also if you like this video hit that like button and also click that little bell to stay notified because we do drop videos every single week and if you want to stay updated on all my behind the scenes content sneaker content or if you just want to find out when i'm going to drop a brand new video usually when i do pick up a brand new sneaker i usually do post it on my instagram so make sure you guys follow me on my instagram at underscore louis g my messages are always open to you guys Guys, but let's get into the review the sneaker that we're gonna be talking about today is a pair of Puma sneakers now I'm no stranger to Puma sneakers I have a ton in my collection Puma is definitely one of my favorite brands and they're definitely a brand that I eventually want to work with love what they're doing their collabs are always fire every single sneaker model that they release is just always a hit it's never a miss pretty much Puma just does not miss so this sneaker particularly right here is a Puma sneaker that's actually honoring the founder of Puma Rudolph Dosser if you guys are unaware of who that is he's the founder of Puma and if you guys also didn't know founder of Puma and Adidas they were actually brothers so a little little history right there if you guys didn't actually know that but pretty much this sneaker is actually part of a legacy pack that's actually honoring Rudolph Dossler it's part of a legacy pack there's a ton of sneakers in this collection it's a simple sneaker but it does pop and just the materials and everything are just crazy but let's get into it the box that we have here is actually a really dope iconic box so on the box right here it does say the Rudolph Dossler legacy you got the original Puma branding right here on the box of the sneaker you got some more old school puma branding like i'm just like a big fan of like anything that's like old school like you know a little bit off topic even just anything like especially with like sports or like anything in general just that old throwback logo is just always super dope to me stick right here you have some more puma old school branding you have puma rudolph dosser legacy i'm pretty sure this is in german uh, correct me if i'm wrong i, I don't speak german we're, we're not gonna throw this one because it's actually a really nice box so i'm gonna just put this right here before i show the sneaker it's just only right that i have to show this so this is actually a picture of rudolph dosser right here and on the back you get a little card when you do purchase a sneaker i'm pretty sure um all the sneakers in the legacy pack whenever you do purchase them they do come with this card you know he is the founder of puma so without him we would never have like these fire sneakers that puma puts out so one time for rudolph dossler shout out to him man. you have some more puma branding right here it does say the rudolph dossler legacy and it says in order to understand the present you have to know about the past rudolph dossler didn't send out to create the fastest sports brand in the world but in 1948 that's exactly what he did more than 70 years later puma continues to push the limits of sport and culture with the same speed innovation and creativity in mind. The first chapter of the Rudolph Dossler Legacy Collection features a selection of Puma's most iconic silhouettes from the pitch, the track, the court, and the streets. These kicks span decades and remain to this day the fastest, fiercest, and freshest shoes out there. We re-release them here in True Color Story. Puma's constant and longtime staple colors with premium leather, original Dosser branding, celebrating a legacy of breaking rules and records since 1948. Really cool idea. I love the whole story behind it. Just honoring Rudolph Dossler. You know, this is an original Puma sneaker, you know, but they just re-released them with premium leather, original Puma branding too. Just overall super dope 10 out of 10 collab, but let's show you the sneakers. The sneaker that we have today is the Puma Sky LX Low Rudolph Dossler Legacy. Now, I know what you're thinking, up close the sneaker is just very simple, super plain. The only thing that really pops about the sneaker is the subtle hit of blue right here on the tongue. Just saw this colorway and I was just like, I, I need this. It's such a simple, clean sneaker. You know, everybody wants to talk about like, what's the best tennis sneaker in the world? You know, whether it's like Reeboks, whether it's Pumas, whether it's Adidas, there's just so many like, you know, you have the classic Stan Smith. This right here embodies everything about like a classic tennis sneaker. I'm gonna say this right now, these are better than the Stan Smiths, these are better than Reeboks, these are better than any tennis shoe that Nike could put out, period. But let's dive into it. First thing that we're gonna talk about is obviously the number one thing that stands out right now, obviously. You have like this gold chain right here of the original Puma, like Dossler branding right here so you do get like a little chain part of like you know the whole legacy collection it's in gold it's just super dope it's just something really subtle but it just i don't know it just adds to the sneaker the color of the sneaker now the sneaker is just very plain it's not super loud it's probably the best boom sneaker i have in my collection right now all white you do have that cream midsole you do have some hits of gray suede on the back of the heel tab and then you do have that just that one hit of blue on the tongue of the sneaker and the same thing on the insole of the sneaker too so predominantly the sneaker is just super plain just mostly made up of white 
you have cream, you have blue, and then you have like this gray suede on the back. Ooh, materials of the sneaker. Now, predominantly the sneaker is just made of all leather. Now, it's not your normal leather. If I were to compare the leather from any other Puma sneaker that I have, I would say it is a step up from, you know, all the other leathers that I've experienced on other Puma sneakers. It does definitely feel premium. I do feel like these are definitely gonna age well. Even when they crease, I'm not really worried about them. It's all white leather, same thing, lateral, medial side. The only other hit of material that you do have is on the back of the heel tabs, gray suede that just wraps around on the back of the sneaker. The laces of the sneaker. Now, these are not your ordinary laces on a Puma sneaker. So even though these are white flat laces, a cool thing that I like about this, I actually added gold tips to the shoelaces right here, which really adds to like that whole like premium, like designer sneaker. You know, even though it's not a designer sneaker, I do get those, those vibes from it just because you do have like these hits of gold on the sneaker. So I would say adding the gold like tips to it was actually a really nice touch with the tongue of the sneaker. Now the tongue is probably done in like this all blue. You do have some more like old school, like Puma original Rudolph Dossler branding right here. So the blue just definitely does add to the sneaker. Official colorway name of the sneaker is White Royal. And you know, the tongue definitely matches that. Going into the midsole of the sneaker. Now the midsole was another reason why I really like like the sneaker and why I thought it was so different. Just because the midsole, you do have like this cream hit right here. You do have more Puma branding right here. It does say Puma, you have the little Puma logo right there. But I just feel like with the cream midsole, it just set it off. Like, you know, matching the cream with the white. Anytime you mix cream with white, it's just, it's it's an instant banger, no matter what sneaker it is. And I've never like seen a Puma sneaker like this, so I thought that was different. The outsole of the sneaker, you do have your regular white outsole. It does say Puma brand. You do have some more Puma branding right here. It does say Puma, you have a little Puma right there. And this outsole is made with poly rubber. Say the traction is, it's, you know, it's normal. It's just a regular Puma outsole. They didn't do anything too crazy with it. Into the heel tab of the sneaker, you do have some more hits of that gold, you know, matching it with the gold tips. So on the back of the heel tab right here, you do have a Puma logo, but it's the original Rudolph Dossler branding logo. I'm just a big fan of like the old school logo. I think it's super dope. I personally feel like Puma should just switch back to it just because it just looks a lot cleaner in my opinion. I just feel like anything that's like old school or throwback just definitely looks a lot better than anything that's like current. As far as sizing goes, I tell you guys on all my other Puma sneakers, they do usually do run big and especially for an all leather sneaker, anything that's all leather usually does run a little big. So I did go half a size down. So my recommendation to you guys would be go half a size down if you guys do want to pick up these sneakers. And just going back to the sneaker one time, this is my favorite sneaker out of the whole entire Legacy Pack. Cool idea, just honoring, you know, the legacy of Rudolph Dosser. Without him, we would never have like these dope sneakers that Puma has come out with. You know, without him, there would be no Puma, period. So big shout out to him. Just overall, I think the sneaker is just really dope. You know, I'm gonna stick with my comment saying this is the best tennis sneaker out right now. You can't really do anything better than this. It's just very subtle, but it's definitely giving off those premium luxury vibes. The gold tip, you know, the gold on the back of the heel tab, that subtle blue on the tongue, even though it's very simple, it definitely does pop in its own simple way. The cream midsole, that premium leather, just a regular sneaker. You know, this is a sneaker that you just throw on. It goes with anything, but if you definitely want to switch it up and do something different besides like, you know, your Stan Smith, your Continental Adidas, like if you're someone who just only likes wearing like plain all white sneakers, especially tennis sneakers, I would definitely recommend this one to you um, as well. They don't go for too much. I picked these up for 110, which isn't too bad. But overall, I think it's just a solid 10 out of 10. It's my favorite Puma sneaker in my collection right now just because I love the story behind it. Pretty much it for my review on the Puma Sky LX Rudolph Dossler White Royal colorway. Comment down below, do you guys like the sneaker? Would you cop? Do you like the Legacy Collection? Did you guys know who Rudolph Dossler was? Just pretty much just comment down your general opinion on the sneaker and on this video as well. Hit that subscribe button, especially if it's your first time checking out one of my videos. It really does help the channel a lot and really does help us grow. Hit that like button if you guys did enjoy the video and click that little bell to stay notified because we do drop videos every single week. Follow me on my Instagram, underscore Louis G to stay updated on all my behind the scenes content, sneaker content, clothing content, or if you just want to message me to chop it up, my messages are always open. And if you guys do enjoy the on feet, if you guys really enjoyed it, if you guys loved all the shots, all the crazy visuals, transitions, one man is responsible for that. Make sure you guys follow the cameraman on his Instagram at Leon underscore Kev. I'd really appreciate it. So if you guys enjoy all his work, give him a follow. And that's going to be pretty much it. And I'm going to catch you guys next time. Peace.